You didn't hold it. Yeah, that one. Howdy. Welcome back to the freshest of fresh episodes. Today we're going to be working on the vert again, as per usual. Um, we did make a bit of progress uh, last night. I wasn't feeling a whole vlogging, so but pretty much just actually went straight working on the car. So both oil coolers are mounted. Krillback has been here cleaning. That goes on my pee pee. So the has been here cleaning. And the oil coolers are on. I'm gonna be doing some plumbing. Brandon's gonna be finishing up that tub, hopefully today, we'll see, I don't know. Yeah, I, I left a lot of space. Cause I think the, like the, the line that we made, yes. Mm -hmm. Cause the, what we made with the chalk yeah. Was literally like I cut the outside line of it. Yeah. Which was it was the outside line of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, this. Yes. So. But I'm going to be plumbing the oil coolers along with the thermostat and all those lines. So when I'm done, I can start helping Brandon a little bit more with the tubs, and then what else? Um, once we finish the tubs, we can put the cooling package back in after go like paints. So hopefully, today's Tuesday, hopefully by Thursday, the car will be on the ground, painted. Um, then we put the cooling package back in, which will only take like, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes at, at most. And uh, then the car should be ready to go. I need to switch it back to gas and yeah, everything should be good. Moving right along. So, oh, I need to change that tie rod because that's the one we changed at the track that got bent and the s14 one when it took that impact not only did it bend the outer portion of the tight rod it also bent the well i could show you actually uh is the front door unlocked it's locked bitch like the deadbolt's locked yeah oh, okay i was trying to go around this trash can instead of so, not only did it bend the inner tie rod, it bent the outer adapter that goes to the pillow ball. As you can see right there, it's nice and bent. Um, and then of course bent right there. But not only did it bend that, it bent the actual steering, the shaft that's in the, um, in the rack itself. So, the, I definitely can go to lock, no problem, um, both ways with the OE Mazda um, tie rods. I definitely can't do it with the S14s because they're bigger in diameter. So they just will not fit. So we're gonna go back to the OE Mazdas and get it realigned and we're good to go. Ready to get some work done tonight. So here we go. Thank you. 
<laughs> well, hope you guys enjoyed watching us just toil away at the car. Um, we did get quite a bit done. I've got the fluid coolers bolted in, ready to go with the lines already on them. Um, pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, the thermostat, I kind of changed how I was going to do it. I was going to have it upright instead of parallel with the car. Um, but this one goes right underneath, goes up into this oil cooler right here. Comes around in a nice, sweet 120 degree angle, if I learn how to talk. And we come over, this is pointing the right place, there we go. All the way over to that one, and then out the other side, back into the thermostat. And then into the motor, I have that line right there, ready to go from the thermostat to the back. And then that one, that's the one that feeds. And Brandon's been over here working on the tub. So the filter's kind of mocked up in place of how I think it's gonna go, along with this piece that we kind of bent. Um, it's a weird football shape. Uh, we toyed with the idea of doing, and it looks like it's gonna work out. I'm definitely going to take some metal working to get it in place and perfect, but pretty happy with how it's going to come out, especially when there's going to be, um, I'll show a picture of it real quick, but the bumper on the car, there's a nice little flash to pass lens right here that doesn't have the, the lens in it. So it should come right in through here, through that square hole, or rectangle hole, right in, ramp up on this and straight into the filter. So we should have a nice, clean, fresh source of air. And uh, the water lines are done on the turbo. Everything is hooked up completely, actually. So hopefully we don't have any leaks, but I think there is going to be one. But I'll address that when we get there. Uh, I was going to toy with the idea of putting the uh, manual regulator into this door, but I actually put direct power to it, and it was uh, working just fine. So I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. Yeah, I think this, I think this, uh, I do catch myself, but. What? Nothing. Talking shit. Talk shit. But I think this one is working just fine. So I'll probably do a kind of like a hardwire kit for it and do an on off switch that goes directly to it and feeds its own power. So that way we can um, have a more faster working window instead of it going up at uh, one fart per second. So. Perfect. So, I may I may take that with me just in case. For instance, that fails. Um, Girl Dex side is already have already has a manual window, so we don't have to worry about that. And then the next thing will be uh, getting all the wiring uh, hooked up here. Get this fuse block uh, mounted, and then um, all the fan relays and fuses and everything ready to go. So we can hook up the fans that are on the back of these two bad boys and then on the intercooler sitting over by the go-kart and then uh, redo the wiring on the main fan for the radiator. But other than that, uh, other than the long things, long list of things I just listed, it's we're, we're not too far off. So uh, Wednesday may not be on the ground, but I definitely think Thursday is doable. At least back on the ground and then I'll have to run out to Chad's and get the bumper because I really don't want to drive out to Chad's without the bumper on the car because I feel like the Why fiberglass fenders. Yeah, so I can mock up the bash bar. Yeah, the CNC bend that pipe so it fits perfectly. Um, yeah, so that way it looks nice yeah, if the bumper comes off. The of the so it acts as a, a brace that holds the bumper up so it's not stressed by this anymore. Yeah, less anxiety. So. Yeah, and then obviously this weekend, um, need to, uh, Saturday, um, I'm going to run over to Chad's early in the morning. I'll vlog, I will vlog part of that, um, but just getting the bash bars made, that shouldn't take very long. Hopefully, uh, getting the back bumper off, um, shouldn't take long at all. And then just a straight bar with a hitch in it, which I need to go get a hitch and then get it tuned early next week <laughs> well that that'll be the tune and the die now I'll do it all at once so well I mean I'll get it switch over to gas probably this week and then get it going but the dyno portion of it will be also be the main tuning portion of it
So am I repainting yep. all this before you put the stuff in? Yes. Okay, take care of this. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, won't take very long. It's good to seam seal and paint that one already, so. I was gonna yeah. seam seal it earlier, but no, no, it's a copying gun. I'll bring one. Okay, bye. 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 Space. A boy has the right to dream. There are endless possibilities stretched out before him.